It's such a lovely day uh, outside, um, so a great day to do some factoring together. Eh? And I, I, I promise you some example questions for this type of factoring question. Make sure you've seen my previous videos, eh? this is part 9. And if you've seen it from part 1 all the way up till now, you are going to be a superstar in factoring. Trust me when I say that, okay? So invest those 30 minutes of your life by looking at all those videos. Anyway, try to solve them yourself, eh? so perhaps pause this video uh, before looking at what I am doing because it's always better to try it yourself first. Okay, the first question, 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. Uh, so I wrote it down here. And every time you ask yourself these questions, eh, is there a common factor? Is it grouping? Is it normal factoring? Is it extra normal factoring? And all those questions make sense if you've seen my previous videos. Okay, is there a common factor? 2, 6, but the 7 is odd, so it doesn't have a factor 2. Unfortunately, no common factor. Is it grouping? No, not four terms. It's not normal factoring because of the coefficient there, it's only one, so it's what I call extra normal factoring. Okay, bummer, it's the one we like the least, but it doesn't matter. Sometimes there are things in life you don't really like, you still gotta do them, so just pretend as if you're smiling, because it's not very difficult, is it? I look at my first term, 2x squared, I'm dissecting it, I'm trying to find a code for my volt, 2x times x is 2x squared, I, I explained this in a little bit more detail in my previous video, and I do the same for my last term, my constant, 6, what times what is 6, well for instance, um, what shall I do, uh, 3 times uh, 2, yeah, 3 times 2 is 6, okay, and then I'm going to cross multiply 4x, oh that is unlucky because I was trying not to crack the code for you, and 3x and that together is 7x and indeed that is my middle term. So I am lucky now, I was actually I was supposed to do it the other way around because I wanted to show you that sometimes you're unlucky. You have to do it a couple of times but if you get more experience yeah, um, you'll be able to do it quicker. Anyway, so it is my middle term yeah, so I've cracked the code in one go so I was lucky. 2x plus 3 yeah, so you go horizontally and for the other one x plus 2. I'm still going to check. Perhaps did I make a silly mistake. 2x squared, 4x plus 3x, 7x, 3 times 2 is 6. No, that's it. I just was a really, really lucky, although I tried to pretend to be unlucky, um, just to show you that sometimes that's what you are. Anyway, I'm going to write down the answer here. 2x plus 3x plus 2. Okay, next one. Uh, 2x squared plus x minus 6, again, is there a common factor? No, is it grouping? No, is it normal factoring? No, it's not. So it is the special one. So I can already put those brackets there. And the nice thing about 2x squared also, uh, also for the previous uh, question, it can only be 2x and x that gives you 2x squared. But now it is minus 6. Now, for instance, uh, let's say minus 1 times 6. It's going to give me minus 6, yeah? Could also be 1 times minus 6. Could also be 6 times minus 1, yeah? Or 2 times minus 3. So there are loads of combinations possible. Oh dear, this could take a while, doesn't it? I should get my middle term, which is 1x. So actually, if you have more experience, you wouldn't have chosen this combination. Why is that? Because you see that's going to give me 12x minus x, it's never going to give me my 1x, right? So the 6 here is a bad decision, okay? So am I going to turn it around? It's probably also going to be a bad decision. So my next attempt, because I'm looking for just 1x, I'm going to try uh, 3 and 2, and uh, let's do minus 3 and a positive 2. Yeah, so 2x times 2, yeah, so now I go diagonally is 4x minus 3x and that is x and that indeed is my middle term a positive x so what is my answer oh 2x minus 3 yeah so 2x minus 3 and the other one x plus 2 good so I'm gonna write that one down as well we said 2x minus 3 and the last one, x plus 2. Let me just check that, yeah, because I don't just want to have written down something, I want to be correct as well. 2x squared, 4x minus 3x is x, minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. Okay, the last question, 
Yeah, so is there a common factor? No. Grouping? No. Is it the normal factoring? No. So it is the special one. You see every time you ask yourself those questions uh, and if you do it goes by itself you, you, know, you become a bit of a robot yeah of course we still pay attention to what we're doing but you get quicker 4x squared oh bummer because that can be 4x times x but that can also be 2x times 2x okay just gonna start somewhere um, let's do 4x times x 9 that could be 9 times 1 but then we're gonna do 1 times 9 I already know that's never gonna give me 12 does it yeah? because that's 36 it's not gonna work yeah um, what about 9 times 1? So that's 4x, 9x, and that is 13x, almost, but no. So let's do 4x, x, 3, 3, so that is 12, 15. No, there's no point in turning that one around. So it's not going to be 4x, x, so I'm going to try 2x, 2x, you see, now it's just going to take me, or it is taking me a little bit longer, yeah, and that is perhaps annoying, but that is what you have to do. So don't worry about it, you're not doing anything wrong, it just takes a little bit longer. 2x, 2x, and let me try again, 9 and 1, yeah, so I'm dissecting the last term as well, 2x plus 18 is 20x, no, that's not correct, no point in turning that one around, because 2x, 2x is still the same. So I'm going to turn it into a 3 and a 3, 6x plus 6x is indeed 12x, I have found it, 2x plus 3, and oh the other one is the same, what a beautiful question, 2x plus 3. So my final answer, yeah, if you really want to impress everybody around you, of course that's what we want to do, 2x plus 3 squared, okay. So guys. Um, we have one left and that is a beautiful one, the difference of two squares, yeah? Is there a common factor? Can I do it by grouping? Is it normal factoring? We've just done the, what I call the extra normal factoring, now the difference of two squares. It's the one you encounter loads of times, so uh, it's an easy one. I think it's easy and it's beautiful. It's just, it's, it's beautiful, yeah? So see you at the next video. Bye-bye.